So I went to Ravana High School um, over in Ravana by Grand Island and Kearney. And I did volleyball and track there. I also did cheerleading and dance. I was in quite a bit of clubs. Um, and my volleyball coach was from Doan. So she came my senior year, and that's how I kind of got into Doan. But also my high jump coach from Ravana was also from Doan. He was a high jumper here. So they kind of helped me get here. And I know I, I toured a lot of like NAIA schools, Hastings and Concordia. And I just liked Doan a lot better. I knew the coaches. I kind of knew the area. Um, but I did. I was quite busy in high school, so I was pretty used to coming to Doan and just being constantly busy with school and sports. Uh, when did you start playing volleyball and also uh, start participating in track? I didn't start participating in track until like junior high. I really didn't look into it and other than that, so it wasn't like a big part of my life growing up. But volleyball I, I had done since like fourth grade, maybe a little bit before that. I was in it pretty young just for fun. I think my mom wanted to see if I liked it. I wanted to like it because we did um, like PE and recess in high school and I'd always loved playing it then. But uh, as far as track, I didn't really touch base on that until like seventh grade and I wasn't even sure I was going to do high jump. I was really into like the hurdles, which I ended up being really bad at. <laughs> so I didn't do that for very long. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite memory about Doan? And then also favorite memory about Doan athletics, whether volleyball okay. or track or both? Um, probably my favorite memory of Doan overall is with athletics, just because I do them so much and big things happen. So for volleyball, it would be going to nationals. My freshman year. That was a really fun experience. I got to do it with the team that I started out here with and they were really a great group of girls. Um, also beating Hastings I think my sophomore year was really really fun. I'm never going to forget that because I don't think that they had beat Hastings in a long time. So it was kind of a big deal and it was on our senior night. And then as far as track goes, probably winning conference maybe was it sophomore year? We did it here. It was indoor and that was really fun just because it was our like home track and it was a really big environment a lot of people were there it was just fun to hear that we won conference there okay. uh, whether what other activities are you involved in at Dome? not any? a whole lot <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really do I'm not in any like Greek life or anything um, I mainly just hang out with the athletic teams I am in like in all my classes I go out of my way to make sure I'm like getting involved with like the teachers and the students. I make sure like I go to study groups and stuff like that. I'm taking a lot of credits this semester, so that's pretty much what takes up my time. But I like to hang out with my friends off campus, so just really hang out with friends, not a whole lot of activities. So that kind of goes on the next one. What do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like to hang out with my friends regardless of if it's like we're just hanging out. Like in my house, I have a house of five other girls, so I spend a lot of time with them or um, just going to the library and like kind of getting stuff done and hanging out with my friends. Just kind of really hanging out. <laughs> okay, a little rapid fire. Okay. Favorite pregame meal? Chicken Alfredo. <laughs> Favorite pregame music? Um, really anything Cardi B. <laughs> and then do you have any pregame rituals? Um, before track, I'll normally like wake up pretty early and like have coffee and kind of just get myself in the headspace. Before I had hit 510, I would kind of look at other people's videos to see like what they were doing in high jump because it's kind of hard to like slow down and think about it or like pump yourself up because you can't just go in there guns blazing sprinting towards the bar because it's not right for the technique. But after I made 510, I kind of look at my video a little bit because it's me, I can relate to it a little bit more. So I'll look at it for a little bit and just kind of like get in the headspace, and then usually like an hour before we're warming up. So I'm just trying to calm down at that point because I get pretty worked up or like excited. So I just kind of like relax. As far as volleyball, our day is normally pretty busy, especially like if it was during the school day. So I go to class, kind of like not try not to think about it because for volleyball, I just rather go out there with a relaxed mentality and just jump into it because when you're in it you can't really think too much about it because you have to be quick so it was kind of more of like getting yourself pumped up it's a little bit different than track like you have to get really hyped up to go out there and be energetic okay uh, what's your academic major and future career path 
Um, my major is Health and Society with an emphasis in Women and Children Development, and I have a minor in Biology. And I would like to go to nursing school. I've been looking at two or three nursing schools. I'll be applying in February um, to hopefully get my bachelor's in nursing and science. But depending on the end of that track, I'd like to go on and do a travel nursing um, occupation. But if I stick around Nebraska, I'd like to be a surgical nurse in like the OR and ER. Okay. Uh, if you did not do volleyball or track, what sport would you have done? Oh, um, tennis? Tennis seems kind of fun. I like looking at it like it's normally in nice weather. It's outside. I kind of like being outside, and volleyball doesn't really give you that. <laughs> but I always, every time I walk by or like go to a tennis match, it looks really fun, looks really explosive. And I know for a fact I'm bad at all the other sports. So <laughs> I'm terrible at basketball. So it couldn't be that one. <laughs> okay, final question. What makes Doan special to you? I think the people, I remember coming in as a freshman and everybody's like, oh, the people are so great. It's a small atmosphere. Like, you can walk by and you won't even know the person, but they'll say hi. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, <laughs> I don't know these people. But being here for four years, I know a lot of the people here. Most of the freshmen, I don't know, but I talk to them when I see them, like on the track team or in classes if I have a freshman class. If I don't know them, I go out of my way to talk to them just because it is a small campus and I will see them out and about. There's a lot of people I know here, and it's a, a university. That's kind of something that not everybody has. Also, the connection with my professors. I've been in the biology program for since freshman year I started out, and I know them really well. I talk to them about pretty much everything. It's not just academics. It's I talk to them about like my life, what's going on, what I'm going to do, and like vice versa. I learn a lot about them that way. So I think it's just a very tight-knit group. It's kind of like a family in a weird way, like, <laughs> like I never knew these people four years ago and now some of them are my best friends.